This next story just might be for adults only. Provocative Japanese art comes to Hollywood for a program called Tokyo Pop Underground. It was curated by an amazing um, gallerist in Tokyo named Shinji Nanzuka. Um, and we're really just exploring contemporary Japanese art. This exhibit at Jeffrey Deitch Gallery in Hollywood showcases the works of 17 Japanese underground and pop artists from the 1960s to present day. Many of these works are renowned in the international art world, but that was not always the case. These artists were doing things that were kind of more erotic and out there that weren't fully acceptable. Uh, now people just like really love it and take into it, which is really cool. As Japan struggled to rebuild itself after World War II, a group of daring Japanese artists broke tradition. They started producing anti-authority images filled with sex and violence and heavily influenced by Western pop culture. Keiichi Tanaami was one of those artists. Growing up, he was always drawing, um, was heavily influenced by Warhol, and he was, you know, making art in the height of the 60s, um, and psychedelics and all of that, and you definitely see those elements in the work. Artist Toshio Saeki also dabbled in psychedelic imagery. Um, artwork for album covers, he did one for Yoko Ono and John Lennon, which was really cool. Um, but definitely he's got a lot, of, a lot of humor in his work, a lot of playfulness, which you see. In another room, artist Hajime Soriyama unveils his topless, glass-encased female robots. And over here, a more modern work speaks to the underground skating community. Artist Hiroshi made this entirely from skateboards donated by friends and professional skaters. Kids love it. Like grandparents love it, like everybody can discover something new from this show. Check out Tokyo Pop Underground. That's at the Jeffrey Deitch Gallery at 925 North Orange Drive in Hollywood.